Hi, I'm Joy Peacock. I'm from a company called ConnectSphere and we're specialists in IT service management. In this session, we're looking at our fourth ITIL service management lifecycle phase. This is service operation. And this is where we take those services that have been well designed and tested and transitioned into our live environment and where we manage those services as well as managing all of the underpinning processes and managing the tools that are required to deliver those services thereby ensuring that what we do on an ongoing basis is deliver value to our business. Now to help us do that we need functions. We need self-contained units of an organization or groups of people and the tools that they use to help us deliver value to our business. And we have four functional areas defined in ITIL and those functional areas are our service desk, that single point of contact to our users, our IT operations management, our technical management and our application management teams. So our service desk that is a function that provides a single point of contact between IT and the users, sometimes face to face, sometimes over the telephone or perhaps via email or via a web interface. Their role is to manage the incident life cycle and restore normal service operation following any failures as quickly as possible, as well as to provide proactive communication to our users and provide management information to management within IT and also to management outside within the business too. It's that single point of contact, it's that window to IT. As well as the service desk providing that communication, we have our IT operations management teams and they are the people that manage the day-to-day -day activities within IT, the people that manage job scheduling, backups and restores as well as managing the physical environment of our data centres, ensuring that we have enough physical capacity within our data centres to be able to deliver our services to the business. We have our technical management functional areas and these are the teams that provide the resources to manage our infrastructure. It's all about expertise and guidance, custodian of that knowledge about our technical infrastructure, how our IT hangs together, our servers, our databases, how they're managed. And to support that, we have our application management team. And again, they're described as custodians of technical information to do with the applications, the applications that sit on our servers, sit on our mainframes and our mid-range systems. And that includes the design and testing where necessary and the management and support of our applications in the live environment, irrespective of whether they've been purchased outside or whether we've built them in-house. They support the entire ITIL service lifecycle. So these are the people and the teams that help us manage IT, but we still need those processes to help us manage our services on an ongoing basis. Processes like incident management. There will be failures in our services, so we will need a process to manage those failures and ensure that when there is a failure or a reduction in the quality of a service that we do not impact on the value that we deliver to our business and that we're able to restore normal service operation as quickly as possible. And that's normal service operation as defined in our service level agreement, as agreed by our business. In conjunction with incident management, we need problem management to help us get to the root cause of those failures. Where required, we want to identify what has gone wrong and prevent it from happening in the future. So reacting to current failures, but also proactively identifying points of failure or potential points of failure and preventing them from impacting that delivery of value to the business. We will have monitoring. It's very important that we monitor that our services are not failing, that our services are delivering what the business requires. So we will have a process that will monitor those services. And that's event management. And event management is about 
identifying any changes to our live environment, whether that be something very simple like a backup's just started or a user has just logged in, as well as those events that may be a failure, that may have a significant impact on the business. And that process will be, for the most part, automated, allowing us to manage those services and allowing those tools to facilitate that. In addition to that, we want to be able to manage requests. Requests that come in from the business. Can I have something? Can I have a new laptop, for instance? Or can you tell me? Can you tell me whether the service desk is going to be available over the weekend? Can you tell me how to add up cells in Excel? Now, we'll have FAQ areas that will help us with that, and we will have various tools that will help us deliver that particular service to the business. We may allow them to log on themselves and request certain components of services. And so, therefore, part of that will be automated, but we will still need to manage that because sometimes we don't always want to deliver that request exactly as the business has required. We need to manage those requests and ensure that we can always deliver value to the business. And that leads us into our last process within service operation, and that's access management. That is about managing who can access our services, whether they have the right to access those services. And that is taking the policies that have been set by information security management and implementing those policies, ensuring that only those with authorised access can have access to those services and denying the right to those services for those that do not have access to them, who should not be logging on to these services. So service operation is about managing the day-to-day. -day. It's about delivering those services and managing any failures when they occur. If you'd like to have more information about service operation or anything else to do with ITIL, then please feel free to log on to our website at www.connectsphere.com.